Fantastic, welcome back. Uh, we have a very beautiful question uh, ahead of us. Um, and it really combines so many parts of coordinate geometry. Uh, let's have a look. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals minus 2x plus 1 and which goes through point 1, 3. So, find the equation of a line, yeah, of a line, and it has to be perpendicular to this line and it has to go through a particular point. Now, I have to construct an equation and I've learned something about that because what is the general equation of a line? And we used to, or we, we tend to write that in gradient intercept form. So it's always very useful to let's start by writing down y equals mx plus c. Yeah? Where if you remember correctly, m is the gradient and c is the y intercept. And then we always find the gradient first, yeah? delta y, delta x, and the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. However, they don't give me two points uh, to calculate the gradient. They don't give me a graph to find the gradient. But they tell me it has to be perpendicular to that particular line. What did I learn about gradients and perpendicular line? I have learned that then the gradient is the negative reciprocal. So what is the gradient of this line? Minus 2. The gradient, if I just put an arrow there, the gradient is minus 2. This line is going down. One step to the right, two steps down. Yeah? Minus two steps up. So what is the negative recipro uh, reciprocal? That is going to be 1 over 2. Yeah, Minus minus 1 over 2 if you like. So positive half. Good y equals a half x plus c and yeah? that's the equation we're looking for now we're going to find out what is the y intercept and then we've learned before that we substitute that one point they give to us and then i'll find c because when x is one y is three when x is one plus c so three equals a half plus c and i hope you see that then C, a lot of C's there, is two and a half. Right? Take away a half on both sides. So the equation of the line perpendicular to that line and going through point one three is y equals a half x plus two and a half. The y intercept apparently is two and a half. So I have answered the question. Now I want you to do yourself a big favor and to graph this line and to find out, sorry, and to graph that line as well. And then to see for yourself that yes, they are perpendicular with each other. They do make an angle of 90 degrees. All the best.